Hello everyone and welcome to the class. How are you? Well, today we are going to start a new content from page 64, okay? So we have this new content and a dictation before we start unit number four, yes? So this is the last content of unit number three, okay? So let's get started. The new content is childhood to be scared, to be afraid, scary, tone, voice, bedtime, a story, a fairy tale, once upon a time, a hobby. Okay, so we have new words uh, about um, things we did in our childhood and about fairy tales, things like that. Yes? So the first word is childhood. So what is childhood? Uh, is the time period you had, you lived when you were a child. Okay? So when you were a child, you had your childhood. Okay, so childhood is the time period you have when you are a child, okay? So during my childhood, I used to play with dolls. Um, I had a lot of fun in my childhood. I had a good childhood, okay? So a childhood is the time period uh, of when you are a child, okay? Or a kid, yes? Uh, then we have to be scared and to be afraid, which are synonyms, okay? So when you are scared or afraid, it means you are afraid of something. So for example, some people are scared or afraid of clowns. Some people, like me, are afraid of spiders. Some people are afraid of the dark. Some people are afraid of death. Some people are afraid of the coronavirus, for example, okay? So to be scared and to be afraid is to feel fear, okay? When you feel fear, you are scared or afraid. These words are both synonyms, okay? Uh, then we have scary, which is an adjective. What is something scary? It's something that causes fear, okay? So horror movies are scary to some people because they cause fear, okay? And the people uh, get scared or they get afraid, okay? So something scary for me are spiders, for example. Um, sometimes the dark is scary. Sometimes um, a bad person is scary. Something that causes fear for someone, okay? Then we have tone. Uh, tone is related to sound or to music, okay? So, for example, I can ask you to change your tone of voice, yes? So, uh, when I am teaching, I have a certain tone of voice that I use, which is kind of loud, okay? Uh, but when I'm talking to a dog, I can change my tone of voice, like, oh, what a cute doggy, okay? So this is to change my tone of voice. This is a tone, okay, related to sound, yes? So to change the tone, I can change my tone and get it really high, and I can change my tone and get it really low, okay? So this is tone, okay? Then we have voice, which is the sound that comes out of our mouths, okay? Um, I am sure that you all have seen the TV program The Voice, yes? Where is a TV show where people sing, so that's why it's called The Voice, yes? Because voice is the sound that comes out of our mouths, okay? <clears throat> then we have bedtime which, well, 
It's kind of obvious if we think about bed and time, it's the time we have when we are, when we are in our beds, yes? So, for example, I can read in my bedtime. I like to read in my bedtime. Or some people like to be told a bedtime story, especially children, yes? So, when they are in bed, it's the time when they are in bed, okay? So, uh, I like to read, I like to listen to music in my bedtime, okay? So, bedtime is the time you have while you're in your bed, usually before you go to sleep, yes? So, then we have story, which is kind of similar to Portuguese, yes? Uh, it's a story has the structure that there is the beginning, the middle, and the end. So, when I tell you a story, there is a beginning, there is a middle, and there is the ending. So, let me tell a story about the day I got married, for example. Let me tell the story about the day I crashed my car, okay? So, these are all stories. Stories are uh, a series of happenings people tell to each other, yes? Movies are stories. Books have stories, okay? Sometimes uh, music has have stories on them, okay? So, for example, when you are reading a book, you are reading a story, yes? With a beginning, with a middle, and an ending, okay? So, this is a story. Then we have a fairy tale, which is a type of story. It's a kind of story, yes? So, Disney has a lot of fairy tales. Fairy tales are like uh, stories that we tell to children. So, for example, uh, a fairy tale has princesses, princes, uh, they have uh, magical creatures like fairies, like unicorns, dragons, yes? So, this is a fairy tale, okay? A uh, fairy tale is the stories that we tell children, okay? Then we have Once Upon a Time, uh, which there is a TV series with this name, yes, Once Upon a Time. It's kind of old, yeah? Uh, what We start a fairy tale with Once Upon a Time, yes? So we always start fairy tales with this particular phrase, Once Upon a Time, which in Portuguese is like Era Uma Vez, yes? So, we always start fairy tales with this particular phrase. Uh, once upon a time, it means that it happened sometime in the past. doesn't have to be specific. It was once upon a time. Like, a time doesn't have to be specific. could be yesterday, it could be uh, centuries ago, okay? Then the last word we have is a hobby. A hobby is things we like to do in our free time, okay? So, I have um, my hobbies. I like to read as a hobby. I like to draw as a hobby. I like to play The Sims as a hobby, okay? Uh, I think we don't have a translation to Portuguese for this word. We use hobby in Portuguese as well, right? Uh, I can't really think about a Portuguese translation to hobby because we kind of use this in our daily lives, yes? The, the word hobby. So, a hobby is things we like to do in our free time, okay? So, I like to play soccer. That's my hobby, okay? Uh, so, that's those are our words, okay? Kind of simple, yes? Pretty simple, yes, guys? Okay, so then let's do the let's repeat. In my childhood, I was scared of some fairy tales. Tell me a bedtime story, please, the child said. Most fairy tales start with words once upon a time.
To be afraid and to be scared mean the same. I always change the tone of my voice when I tell stories. Okay, so this is our last repeat and now we're going to do the last practice, okay? Do you know the names of some famous fairy tales? Did your parents used to tell you bedtime stories in your childhood? What is childhood? Do you like to watch films about fairy tales? Are some fairy tales scary? What are you scared of? What is Robert scared of? Do you change the tone of your voice when you are talking to a baby? What are most children afraid of? Read the first line of the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast. Does everybody have a different tone of voice? Are there any monsters behind you? What were your hobbies during your childhood? Is your teacher scary? Do you think that horror films are scary? Are you going to read a story during your English course at this school? Will you change anything in your life next year? Okay, so now we're going to go back and I'm going to say the answers and then you give me the questions. Yes, I know the names of some famous fairy tales, Sleeping Beauty and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yes, my parents used to tell me bedtime stories in my childhood. Childhood is the period of time when a person is a child. Yes, I like to watch films about fairy tales. Yes, some fairy tales are scary. I am scared of spiders. Robert is scared of flying in a plane. Yes, I change the tone of my voice when I'm talking to a baby. Most children are afraid of monsters. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a young prince lived in a shining castle. Yes, everybody has a different tone of voice. No, there aren't any monsters behind me, I think. <laughs> My hobbies were playing with dolls during my childhood. No, my teacher isn't scary. Or is she? <laughs> no, I don't think that horror films are scary. Yes, I am going to read a story during my English course at this school. Yes, I will change something in my life next year. Okay, so this is our new content and now we are going to do the dictation number six, okay? You are going to write the dictation number six uh, where the answer to dictation number five is, okay? A few pages back. So, ready? There are... 
a thousand grams in a kilogram full stop I always wait my ingredients in pounds and ounces full stop you need butter comma eggs comma sugar comma flour and baking powder to make a cake full stop early comma rarely comma all day and still are examples of adverbs of time in English. Full stop. She spoke English easily to the American teacher full stop the teacher says don't give up when I find English difficult full stop the simple past form the simple past form of ride is road, full stop. The sun rose at six o'clock this morning and it will Set at 8 p.m. Full stop. The door closed suddenly, but the baby surprisingly didn't cry. Full stop. Useless is the opposite of useful, full stop. The devil and demons live in hell and God lives in heaven full stop nowadays there are many atheists in China and many Christians in Brazil Full stop. The media showed a very religious woman on TV last night. Full stop. Last sentence. I believe in angels 
full stop. Okay, so this is the dictation number six. And with that, we finish unit number three. Okay, so you are almost finishing book three. Yes, book three. So uh, that's it for today, guys. And I will see you next class. Bye-bye.